In January, the Ohio General Assembly overturned Governor Mike DeWine's veto of a bill blocking cities and other local jurisdictions from banning or regulating tobacco products. But that new law also stops local governments from enforcing any law or ordinance regarding tobacco, specifically when it comes to keeping minors from accessing tobacco. The state has relied on local jurisdictions such as Cincinnati to enforce their age restrictions. That includes a local program aimed at limiting access to those 21 and older created in 2018. Since then, the city's seen a 37% drop in how easily teens say they can get tobacco products. Last year, the department cited 25 different businesses or didn't renew their licenses after undercover miners bought tobacco there. That's down significantly from six years ago, but that program won't be able to operate under the new law. Unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to do any of the enforcement efforts that have been successful so far at decreasing the um, purchasing of tobacco products from youth. The pending law stems from a ban on flavored vaping products imposed by the Columbus City Council and one introduced here by Cincinnati Council member Victoria Parks. State Representative Dunny Isaacson says the situation was caused by lawmakers trying to make a political point and rushing the original legislation. Were you aware of this particular loophole and what, are, what if anything, are you particularly going to do about it? So, yes, of course, if there's an issue here with keeping local governments from actually going in and making sure that young people are not buying cigarettes and buying tobacco, we absolutely will look into it. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.